Like husbands mood quickly changed in the night is when dinner wasn't ready. Volatile means that something changed quickly and unpredictably. So as you probably can guess, a volatile point to say is when something changes quickly and unpredictably. Unpredict. Unpred. Okay, so how to use a volatile pointer? To declare a volatile pointer, we write volatile before the pointer. The volatile keyword is a so-called pointer qualifier. Another example of a pointer qualifier is const, which means that the data the pointer is pointed to won't change at all. Just like my fear of talking to women won't ever change. So volatile and const are pretty much the opposite of one another, like playing League of Legends and losing your virginity arc. Man, I'm on fire with these jokes today. These qualifiers tell the program to treat a pointer differently in some way. I have been asked to remove a joke for legal purposes. Declaring a pointer is volatile means that the data that the pointer is pointing to may suddenly change, like landlords evicting single mothers without any prior notice. This can as an example be multi-threading. Multi-threading is the concept of dividing a program into several continuous threads. This way we can split up into several things at the same time. Let's say that we have a pointer that all threads can access and change the value of. As there are different threads doing things all the time, a different thread can change the value that the pointer is pointing to without the other threads getting any warning before. Okay, but why do we even have to do this? How does the program treat a volatile pointer differently? Uh, again, I have been asked to remove a joke for legal purposes. When a pointer is volatile, it tells the program that it shouldn't cache or optimize the value the pointer is pointing to. But that last sentence probably made as much sense to you as taking a shower to the League of Legends players. When executing a program, it often changes the things in your code to run better and more efficiently. When we tell the program that the pointer is volatile, it won't optimize the pointer. So as an example, it won't store the value of the pointer and not register to quickly access it when needed. The same thing with caching. Instead of storing the value of the pointer for the program to quickly access when it needs to, the program will have to read the value directly from its place in the memory. This means that even if another thread changes the value, the program will read and use the correct value every time. However, as you probably can guess, this will also affect the performance, as the program has to access the variable every single time. You know, League of Legends players usually keep ships and monsters in their room, as it's quicker than having to go to the kitchen. And the same thing applies to the program when accessing things. So in conclusion, volatile pointers do to ensure that the program doesn't store the value of the pointer in case that it changes without a warning. Yeah.